All right, in this follow along, I just wanna give you a tour of GitHub repos so that you have a, a general famili familiarity uh, uh, so that when we start diving a bit deeper, we understand what we're looking at. So I'm on my dashboard and I have a lot of different repositories. Um, and so I can go here and find a repository. I can search stuff and say like, if I'm looking for my bootcamp, I can type in bootcamp here and then make my way over here and find it. Um, a lot of times when you are looking for stuff, you're gonna use the global search. So up here, you could do that as well. And I could find my own repos or other repos. Um, there are a lot of open source repos on GitHub. And so um, I know Rails pretty well, so I'll go ahead and type in Rails. And so we have this Rails repo. I'm gonna go open this open this up and take a look and see what we can see because this is a very mature um, uh, GitHub repo. And we'll make it very clear of all the functionality that's happening. So notice we have our main area. This is where all of our files are. Uh, we can actually view any of these files, so I can click into any of them. So I can go into the gem file and it will show me the contents of the gem file. What I like about uh, GitHub is that when you click into here, then you kind of get this file explorer and it's extremely powerful. Uh, if I click this on the right hand side, it will show me symbols. That's not a very good example. I might open up a Ruby file to show you what I mean. So I'm just looking for a Ruby file here. And so this will show you like places you could jump uh, jump towards in your code. Um, that's really nice. You can see who did what by going to blame. So we can see exactly what somebody's doing. By the way, I'm going really quick here. It's not important for you to remember any of this. I'm just giving you a tour of stuff. So just relax and uh, enjoy the information that we're learning here. You don't have to write it down. If I wanted to find a file really quickly in this repo, I could go here and type something in. So maybe I'm looking for um, something like view. And so it's going to drop down and it has this fuzzy search. If I wanna find a Ruby file, I could type this in and we have a lot of them here. I believe there's a hotkey here. So if I hit T, if I'm over here and I hit T, it will bring me over there. I can switch branches really easily. Um, does that let me add a file? It's not my repo, but if I add a file, I'd have to create a fork. Um, the search brings that up there, but we'll go back over to code, okay? So my point here is that you have all the files here and you can browse them. Um, you can switch branches. You can go and take a look at all of your branches. You can take a look at all your tags. You can star, you can fork, you can watch. Here for code, you could launch this up in Code Spaces, which is a cloud developer environment. I normally have um, Gitpod installed, so if I hit refresh, that button might show up here. This button, you will not have this button. I installed this because it's like Code Spaces, but different. Um, on the right-hand side, you get a bunch of information about the repo, like stars, watching, fork. Uh, some of these probably are conditional because I don't remember seeing these on my repos. You have releases, so maybe you are building out binaries, like downloadable files that people can uh, utilize. So some people, they will host all their code here and they'll build the binaries for quick downloads. So that's somewhere else you can go to. Packages is probably similar to releases. I don't, I don't think I've ever used packages ever in my life. Uh, let's go over here and take a look. Browse, browsing all packages. Yeah, I don't know what uh, packages do. We can see who's using it. The contributors, so people that are writing, uh, writing code. Um, we have the languages, so you can see this is mostly a Ruby <laughs> library or um, a repo, which makes sense because it's Ruby on Rails. Down below, we get a preview of our README file, so that is in the top level directory. They have a codes of conduct. I imagine that is a markdown file here and as well. The license file, I'm sure that's in here as well. The security policy as well. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on in here. And then there's all this stuff up here. This is, these are features on top of your repo. So lots and lots and lots of stuff. If we wanna see our commits, we can go here and click on commits. And this is kind of like a tree. It doesn't give you the full view because when you are looking at, um, when you're looking at a tree, uh, there's branches and stuff. So we're missing that information here. But the idea is you can go here and uh, go to different branches and look at those commits. And that's basically all I wanted to do here. We'll get into it a lot deeper later on, but that is your tour of GitHub repos. Ciao.